it's been trending for Andrew Wiggins. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. All right, let's take a look at New Orleans starting lineup. Zion and Valanciunas in the middle. The backcourt, McCullum and Jones. And for the Warriors, the core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. Curry and Clay is the guards with Draymond at the four. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Jackson Davis in at the center position. Well, Grant, something these teams have in common is their phenomenal rebounding ability. Who do you see winning the battle on the boards? You know, it, it could go either way. I mean, frankly, sometimes there's an element of luck on the glass. So we'll just have to see whose way the ball is going tonight. Now here's McCullum coming off a solid outing against Sacramento. Pass to Jones. Fires for three. The Warriors pull it in. Now Wiggins. Outside Curry. Back to Wiggins. Outside, Green. Five on the clock. There's the triple. And he buries his first look. Good effort on the defensive end, trying to contest his shot. But Draymond never won to turn down a challenge. Now here's Valanciunas. McCullum outside. Pass to Jones. McCullum against Curry. Well, New Orleans hasn't made the playoffs in consecutive years since 2008-2009. You know, B.A., that was back in the Chris Paul era. They only reached the postseason twice with Anthony Davis. But in recent years, injuries have prevented them from reaching their potential. Valanchunas. Jonas Valanchunas is a skilled big man with strong fundamentals. He's off on the second. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still came away with four championship rings, plus two MVP trophies. Not bad. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Green. The Warriors have gone one for three so far. Here's Thompson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Murphy. What a savvy play by Clay Thompson. Knows how to put the defender in a tight spot. Shooting two. That free throw is good from Thompson. You've got to love Clay Thompson's work ethic. He's an elite scorer, but he's no slouch on the other end of the floor as well. He gives you his all. Both free throws good from Thompson. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. McCullum against Curry. Valanchunas with a screen on Curry. McCullum pass to Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. He goes hard to the cup. Valanchunas one of the best roll men in the game. On the wing, Curry. Outside, Green. Wiggins outside. Back to Green. The three. He drops it from range. Green's got six points. 
The versatility of Draymond. This team thrives off it. Does both the big and little things. Shoots from the block. And no problem from Williamson as he finishes. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. And there's a pick. And here's Curry for three. Connects again from distance. And all season long, he has been nothing but money from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. Yeah, and that mark of 354 triples set by Stephen Curry in 2019. He's got a lot of seasons on this list. No surprise there. Here's Jackson Davis. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Curry with it. He's picked up by Williamson. Oh, it's blocked by Valanciunas. Valanciunas, he's got that long wings, man. You saw it right there on that play. First quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And they bumped this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Pass to Jones. Here's McCullum. Hey, yo, right here. Williamson inside. Green covering. Drains the triple. What a smart look from Zion. Setting up his teammates. Not trying to do it all himself. And Curry's got the ball here for the Warriors. It's a three-point game. The shot, no good. Oh, nice D from McCullum. New Orleans has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Puts up a three, and again for three. And for this franchise now, he's hit the most threes in a single season. His incredible range stretches out the defense on a nightly basis. It's an invaluable element to this offense. Here's Wiggins, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Well, Grant, for them, this is game two of a back-to-back. -back. Does that schedule wear you out as a player? You know, at times, the schedule can be tough, but sometimes it also works in your favor because sure, you can too. maintain a good rhythm game to game. one falls. For the first overall pick in 2014, Andrew Wiggins has carved out a nice career as a scoring wing. It's both from the strike. New Orleans has gone two for four from range to start things off. Alan Tunis with a screen on Curry. Knocks it loose. Second chance shot. Jackson Davis grabs the miss. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. And that one drops. Green's got eight. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Alan Tunis. Williamson outside. McCullum outside. Just five to shoot. Alan Tunis with a screen on Curry. McCullum's shot is off. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Here's Jackson Davis. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. Outside, Curry. Off the assist by Green. He's got five. Just a drop in the bucket for Steph Curry. Check CJ. Curry against McCullum. Alan Tunis with a screen on Curry. Pass to Williamson. For three, McCullum. Offensive rebound. And the dunk by Alan Tunis. The persistence of Valanciunas is paying off in a big way on the glass. He is just a tremendously hard worker. And a deep three from Curry from beyond the arc, and then some. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For New Orleans, they've gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. 
McCollum taking his time here. Drives to the hoop. Curry with it. Guarded by Valanciunas. Outside for Green. Pass to Wiggins. Curry against Valanciunas. Thompson outside. For three. Rebounded by New Orleans. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's McCollum, and he knocks down the 10-footer. McCollum's got five. CJ rises above the defense and drills the contested jumper. Pass to Wiggins. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. He misses the free throw. Paul, he's checked in for Stephen Curry. Nance, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Marshall comes in for Zion Williamson. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. The Pelicans have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. Pass to Nance. Nance with a screen on Paul. Here's McCollum. Nice D from Paul. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Now here's Nance. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Here he goes. Thompson with a steal. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Paul. Back to Wiggins. Green finds Paul. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Thompson's shot is off. The defense is right there. Quality contests, and they threw him off his rhythm. Pass to Nance. Nance the screen. There's McCullough with the three. And the three-pointer goes. McCollum's got eight. For his career, C.J. McCollum is around 40% from deep. Fantastic. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. So both teams making some changes here. Always clever working himself to the line, and Chris Paul tends to convert once he gets there. McCullum outside, launches a three, and another three for New Orleans. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Smitty, what impresses you about C.J. McCollum's game as a ball handler? B.A., well, he's a terrific passer, but also a consistent scoring option. I'm impressed with how he balances those two aspects of his job. Here's McCollum. 11 points in the game. Pass to Marshall. Back to McCollum. Nice D from Paul. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Shot left block. No good. A bit long that time. New Orleans has gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Nance, the pass to Marshall. Again, the Pel...
Pelicans good for two. He really got some good position. Now, can't let him have the ball that deep. Outside Paul. Paul, a screen on McCullum. Back to Paul. From the line. McCullum pulls it in. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. To the left wing. Marshall passes to Nance. Back to Marshall. Here's Hawkins. From the arc. Thompson pulls it in. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. Pass to Jackson Davis. Down low. Oh, got a piece of it. Nance outside. Let's it go from deep. Marshall can't hit. The Warriors leading. Looney passes to Thompson. Outside Paul. Looney finds Paul. Here's Jackson Davis. Four on the clock. Pass to Thompson. Rebounded by Marshall. Well, New Orleans shooting 45% from the field in this first. Nance the screen. A step back shot. Looney grabs a miss. And the Warriors shooting a 45% clip from the floor. Here's a three from Paul. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Alvarado. Nance the pass to Hawkins. McCollum on the left side. And the 10-footer finds the target. McCollum's got 13. When McCollum is putting it all together on offense, it is fun to watch. Born score. Draymond Green has been on display for the Warriors. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. Back to the game after this break. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And from what we've seen here from the Warriors, what's your take so far? Attacking relentlessly, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the strike. Some people might feel they got some hometown calls, but when your team is pushing the action, you often get the benefit of the doubt. The Pelicans trail. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Kevon Looney is out there with Kaminga. And it's Pajemski in at the three. That's the Warriors five. Here's Looney. Oh, look at Looney at the rim. Nice to see Looney getting involved with the slam there. An athletic player who provides some muscle for them around the rim. Pass to Williamson. McCollum. Nance the screen. The three is up. Looney grabs a miss. The Warriors shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Clay Thompson is able to go on scoring stretches like few players in NBA history. He said, quote, once you see it go straight through the net, that's when you're in the zone. At the beginning of the game, you hold your follow through. Once you feel like you can't miss, you shoot real quick, and that's a great feeling. You feel on top of the world. EA? Yes, indeed. Thanks, Alec. Steph Curry's jump shot is automatic. Let him shoot it. Williamson outside. Back to McCollum. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. McCollum's got 15 points. 
to the paint. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And some analysts have lamented the quote-unquote protected guys. Every bump, they go to the free throw line. Does that bother you, Smitty? Yeah, it would have bothered me more if I had to guard them. The league has Take made it clear. They want the rules evenly applied. Star treatment should not extend to the officiating. And he makes a first. Payton's checked in for the Warriors. And the Pelicans also making a change. Zeller's checked in for Nance. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Second quarter here, just over a minute and a half played. Pass to Marshall. Now here's Williamson. Here's the three. Looney grabs the miss. Looney's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now Paul. He's got five. And here's Curry for three. Good! Another from three. And his incredible shooting season continues. Up the charts he climbs. Now tied for third all-time for threes in a season. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, he's matched Curry's mark of 354 from 2019. That season, James Harden led the lead with 378. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Warriors. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. You know, they've also been very effective at running the floor. Just a ton of points in the fast break. It's been a big part of their success. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. And here's Williamson. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Trailing by 13. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. Oh, my. Talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. But they were able to focus and finish the task at hand. It was a terrific performance we got a chance to watch. They got into a nice rhythm and made smart adjustments along the way. A healthy Zion is a force to be reckoned with. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Outside Curry. Up top Wiggins. Pass to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Looney with the ball. Toronto defending. And Looney with the slam. Chris does a nice job probing the defense off the pick and roll and finding teammates. And the Pelicans with possession here. A 12-point game. Alvarado outside. Back to Williamson. Pass to Hawkins. Let's go with a three. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got three assists now in this one. Here's Paul. Alvarado defending. Here's Curry. Here's Looney. And Looney with the slam. The effort from Looney on the offensive glass. A hustle player who really wheels himself out there. Alvarado outside. Back to Williamson. the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Draymond Green. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. That's 
good from Williamson. and the second one misses. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. Green with a screen on Jones. Curry passes to Paul. No good with the triple. New Orleans has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Here's Williamson. Cashers in the 12-footer. Williamson's got his third basket of the night. The Warriors have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. Right side, Paul. Sinks it. Now two of seven on the night. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Pass to Jones. Here's Valentunas. He's defended by Looney. The jump hook, and Valanchunas gets it to go on the assist from Jones. Good job from Valanchunas there to shrug off the defender and finish the play. Paul taking his time here, and here's Wiggins. Oh, strong like Paul inside, Wiggins. That's all the defense can really do. I mean, they'll live with Wiggins nailing a contested shot. Alvarado, the pass to Valanchunas. Over to the wing. Pass to Marshall. Alvarado with it. On the wing, Jones. Just five on the clock. Top of the key. Rebounded by Green. Green's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now here's Curry, defended by Jones. Again, Golden State! For New Orleans, they've gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Now here's Alvarado. He's guarded by Paul. To the middle. Alvarado outside. Three-pointer. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. And I love the energy on defense. Wiggins working hard to come up with the block right there. And here's Green from the arc. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got his third assist of the night. Ooh, they've been on fire from deep this quarter. Their percentage has been rising and rising. Pass to Williamson. Oh, Green with the block. You know, so much of Draymond's rim protection comes from positioning. But this time, he just flat out went got it. And it's amazing. There's slim advantage on the And again for three. The threes just don't stop with him. He's been a machine from beyond the arc ever since the start of the season. He continues to shoot his way up the history books and now sits solely by himself for third. made threes in a season surpassing Steph Curry's mark from 2019 but Curry still holds that top mark of 402 set in 2016 New Orleans calls timeout
Atlanta a chance now to take a look at some numbers for C.J. McCollum. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. Here's Hawkins. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Hawkins has got five points in the quarter. That's how you draw it up. The defense just couldn't react in time. Curry passes to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Unable to get that one. Oh, nice D from McCollum. Back to Valanchunas. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. That's Valanciunas' game. Beat you with size and power. Takes the contact and completes the play. Pass to Curry. Curry draws the double. McCullum against Wiggins. Off target from three-point range. For New Orleans, they've gotten seven of 15 shots here in the second quarter. McCullum, the pass to Jones. Now Valanciunas. Wiggins with a steal. And here's Thompson for three. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his fourth assist in this one. Now here's McCullum. 15 points in the game. Jones up top. Hounded by Wiggins. Here's Valanciunas. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Wiggins looking around to the inside. Here's Jackson Davis. Oh, sweet move. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. I almost can't believe what I saw. <laughs> Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. And how about our AT&T 5G slam can? Couldn't have captured that play any better. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Trailing by 19. Pass to McCullum. Here's Hawkins. Five points in the game. Oh, green with a block. Here's Thompson. Here's Curry. 4-3. Rejected by Valanciunas. Pass to Hawkins. Valanciunas with it. Knocked away. Clock at four. Let's the three fly. Thompson pulls it in. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Wiggins outside. Green. A screen. Goes up with the strike. He can't get it to go. New Orleans is going just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Jones, the pass to Hawkins. McCullum on the wing to stop the drought. Connects again from distance. And that last three now ties him for the franchise record for most in a season. You know he's looking for that next one. You talk about being locked in all year long. Next one sets the franchise record. What a season it's been for him. And here's Curry for three. Rebounded by New Orleans. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. A minute nine left in the second quarter. For three, McCullum. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. The Warriors shooting it at 52%. Pass to Curry. Back to Thompson. Curry against McCullum. Out to Thompson. The three ball. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Valanciunas with a screen on Curry. 
McCullum, the pass to Valanciunas. The fader, but that's in. Coming off an assist from McCullum. Valanciunas has got six here in the quarter. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Hey, yo, right here. Curry against McCullum. Now here's Curry. He's guarded closely. Curry takes it in. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. One of the more unique free throw shooters, if you count Curry's mouthpiece. From deep three-point range. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's the Golden State Warriors leading by 17 at the end of the period. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Guys, thanks. Andrew, th thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Hey, everybody. I got a secret. We're approaching the playoffs, and we are starting the show with a breakdown of the Western Conference standings. Taking a look at the Pelicans, last week of the season, they want the playoffs to start, but they still got to take care of business. Interesting time. And looking now at that first half of action, quite a big deficit for the Pelicans. They're rolling out the red carpet in the lane, and everybody's on the guest list. They need to call security, tighten it up. You know what, Shaq? You'd be a good bouncer. I mean, heck, you could just, like, do that as a side hustle. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. with a big gap on the scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. So for New Orleans right now, the backcourt, McCullough and Jones, Zion and Valanciunas in the middle for three. McCullough and again for three. And he shattered the franchise's single-season high for three-pointers made. Getting them up and connecting with high volume. He's been a flamethrower all year long. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. The Warriors are pursuing a two-timeline approach, competing for titles while also building a young core for their future. It does not come cheap. This season, they're paying record-high luxury tax with a total team payroll around half a billion. Brian, the commitment to winning now and down the road is evident. Deep pocket tally, that's for sure. Thank you. Jones misses. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for Golden State. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. This is just running the offense the right way. Thompson very unselfish for a guy with a shoot-first mindset.
Williamson with it. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Buries it from three. McCollum's got six in the quarter. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Outside Curry. Here's Jackson Davis. He's got five. Outside, Green. Shot clock at six. Inside. Who poked away. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Williamson inside. Give him eight. An easy two on the layup. Doing great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Pass to Curry. Now Wiggins. Out to Thompson from deep. The Pelicans pull it in. Valanciunas has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Outside Jones. Now Valanciunas, hounded by Wiggins. For three, McCollum. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Jackson Davis has got five rebounds in the game. Green, the pass to Thompson. Here's Jackson Davis. McCollum defends. Pass to Curry. Curry draws the double. Thompson with it. No good on the triple. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. Williamson passes to McCollum. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Time out, time Williamson's out. got six assists now in the game. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Our 2K leaderboard showing stats from the real NBA. The best passing teams in the association. The Warriors, fourth. The passing on this team is very strong. They really move the ball, and you can see it in the assist numbers. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Jones against Thompson. Pass to Jackson Davis. And here's Curry. Thompson outside. Oh, get off me! Thompson! The great ones make shots against great defense. Thompson believes in his abilities, as he should. Jones, the pass to Valanchunas. Valanchunas with a screen on Curry. 20 feet out. McCullum's shot is off. Golden State has gone one of four here in the third from range. And let's look at the Western Conference standings as the playoffs approach. You look at New Orleans, sixth best record in their respective conference right now, hoping to end the season on a high note. And checking out the Warriors, only two spots back. You know, for New Orleans, we'll see if they can up the ante down the stretch. They still have a lot of work to do in order to rise to the top. I agree. As good as they've been, they do seem like they're missing that true killer instinct that sets the great teams apart from the good ones. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. To the middle. Here's McCollum. And McCollum slams it in. A rare dunk from C.J. Showing off his hops. Pass to Jackson Davis. And here is Green. Covered by Williamson. Here's Wiggins. Launches it. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got five assists tonight. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Thompson misses the jumper from the wing. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Shots good by McCollum. This demonstrates how confident C.J. is. Wasting no time and firing away. Thompson outside. Takes a three. And the Warriors with another three. Man, they're having a hard time.
time defending the triple. That's three in a row. The Pelicans have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. McCullum, a pass to Williamson. Shoot it, shoot it. Up top, Alan Chunas. He's got 11. Pass to McCullum. Pocket six. In transition, here they come. Here's Curry. McCullum pulls it in. New Orleans has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Takes one from 10 feet. Called in by Curry. The Warriors have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Thompson. Here's Jackson Davis. Valanchun is covering. Got a piece of it. And here's McCullum. 33 points for him. With the reputation of a highlight reel dunker, Zion's always ready to put on a show. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. They are making it rain from the three-point land right now. And the coaching One staff shot. continues to encourage them to let it fly. Well, in addition, I love their passing. I mean, they're buying into that team concept. That's hard to get out of your young guys. Free throw off from Williamson. And for the Warriors, they're shooting at a 44% clip in the third. Ball against McCullum. Thompson passes to Green. Now here's Paul. Five on the clock. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Greg? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. First free throw is good. them both for New Orleans they've gone 8 of 13 in the second half Jones the pass to Valanchunas McCullum outside Williamson for three they get the rebound here's Valanchunas and the dunk by Valanchunas when you have the size that Valanchunas has there aren't many people getting in the way of your dunk Top Wiggins. Thompson passes to Paul. Here's Jackson Davis. Fires the three. Jones grabs the board. Wiggins against Valanchunas. Over Wiggins. Valanchunas, good. Valanchunas has got 15 points. When Valanchunas is getting it to fall from there, the defense is in trouble. Ball against McCullum. Outside, Green. Shoots over Valanchunas. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Paul. He's got 15. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. And you know what? There was probably a better matchup on the floor, but when it goes in, nobody complains. Nails it from beyond the arc. And every time you think he can't hit another, mm-hmm. And so Paul will bring it up for Golden State. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Driving in. Got a hand on it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonas Valanciunas. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. That's four fouls for him tonight. He needs to pick his battles wisely going forward. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And the Warriors making a change here. Looney's checked in. Nance, he's checked in for New Orleans. Now Green. 
15 points in the game. Looney finds Paul. Shot clock at five. Back to Looney. Looney! Through contact! Terrific work inside from Looney. He continues to get more comfortable down there. Jones, the pass to Nance. Now here's McCollum. He's got 36 points. Back to Nance. Steps back. Williamson against Green. Williamson, no good. The Warriors have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Great D that time from Williamson. New Orleans has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Thompson against Jones. Out to McCullum. McCullum draws the double. Down low. Here's Marshall. It's rebounded by Golden State. Looney's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Thompson. Clay busting it up inside. And this is something Clay has worked on. Creating for himself off the bounce. Williamson against Green. Williamson passes to McCollum. No good from outside. The Warriors have gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Pass to Thompson. The three is up. The Pelicans pull it in. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. And when you talk about players that have struggled to remain healthy, Larry Nance Jr. comes to mind. You know, I know Granny wants to get out of that conversation. He knows and we know how valuable a contributor he is when he's at full strength. Ooh, Paul with the block. How about the block from the veteran Paul? Outstanding defensive awareness. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. I'll tell you what. Turnovers just continue to hurt them here in this quarter. The Pelicans shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. McCollum against Paul. To get back on track. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Kevon Looney picks one up. Forcing the issue in the paint. McCullum determined down there. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Led the league in percentage from the line a few years ago. C.J. McCollum dialed in. Stephen Curry, he's checked in for Klay Thompson. And a change for the Pelicans. Alvarado's checked in for Williamson. second so he makes them both the Warriors leading outside Curry Looney screen on McCullum the three from Curry an absolute bomb from three-point range Curry's got 25 points in the game pass to Marshall from outside the arc that's good and it's McCullum with the assist McCollum's got his fourth assist in this one. Well, that is why we call CJ a combo guard. He can score with the best, but he also can facilitate. Back to Paul. Looney, the screen. Oh, passes to Looney. Oh, Looney fighting through contact. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Good from the line so far this half. 
And so McCollum will bring it up for New Orleans. A 12-point game. This one for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got rebound number eight now. And a deep three from Curry. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Nance. Pass to McCullum. Here's Marshall. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by McCullum. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. shot he's going to remember that one I didn't think that shot had any chance of going in just shows you that anything can happen in this game and as we end the third quarter a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back Warriors ahead up by 15 and we're coming back in just a moment get ready for the fourth quarter when we return Steve Kerr with some words for his players. All right, great pace, great energy. Keep throwing the ball ahead. You guys are just making a simple pass. That's good stuff. Urging his team to keep pushing the break. Coach Steve Kerr. And Coach Kerr loves the energy right now. He's all about having the pace in his favor. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt. Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Kevon Looney. And it's Pajemski in at the three, a small forward. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Nance, the pass to Hawkins. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Nearly unstoppable. No matter where the pass is delivered, Zion will go up and get it. Pass to Pajemski. Paul with it from deep three-point land. Williams grabs the board. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Here's Marshall. Williamson inside. He's guarded by Paul. Williamson with the bucket. Nothing you can do. Zion is just unstoppable from this area of the floor. Paul passes to Curry. Takes the three. Nance pulls down the board. Nance has got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Alvarado. Looney against Nance. Williamson for three. Again, Williamson missing. The Warriors have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Kuminga. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It'll be on Zion Williamson. Payton's checked in for the Warriors. And the second free throw is good. The Pelicans have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Williamson against Kaminga. Williamson passes to Nance.
Shooting two. Then he drops the first. And the Warriors making a switch here. Kuminga, he'll bring it up for Golden State. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Pass to Looney. Here's Pajemski. Six on the shot clock. Zellers checked in for Nance. Here's Pajemski. Beyond the arc. Williams grabs the board. And the Pelicans shooting 46%. A decent average so far. Stolen. Here's Pajemski. Sends it home from three-point land. Pajemski's got his first three points of the game. The defense was just nowhere to be found. Because of that, he adds to their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Punishing slam by Zion. This is what you get for giving him a look at the rim. And the Warriors call time here. Guarded. Jones, he's checked in for New Orleans. A chance here to catch up with Alley from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Steve Kerr had to say to the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Alley. Jones. Here's Marshall. Back to Alvarado. Six to shoot. Marshall passes to Hawkins. Here's Williamson. Tips. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. The Warriors have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Williamson against Looney. Looney, the screen. Here's a three from Paul. That one is off. I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night, and his teammates have had to rally. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Marshall. Here's Hawkins to the inside. And that one's good. Williamson. Williamson's got eight points in the quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. That's tip. And it's the Pelicans on the break. Alvarado with it. And it's Paul picking him up. And Williamson throws it down. This is how dangerous a scorer Zion is. Outstanding at putting his team on his back. And here's Curry for three. And the Warriors miss again. The Pelicans have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Hawkins. He's covered by Curry. Here's Looney. Paul passes to Curry. Shoots from 14. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got assist number seven tonight. Here's Williamson. 
pass to Jones. Here's Hawkins. Looney grabs the miss. Looney's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Pajemski shot is good. And it's a 12-point Warrior lead. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Here's Hawkins. There's the screen by Marshall. Goes up from the top of the key. Hawkins can't get it to go. The Warriors have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Pure from three-point range. In the first half, he got wild and loose from beyond the arc. Now he's hit three more since. Remarkable. Alvarado outside. Williamson with a screen on Paul. Gets the three to fall. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Curry gets the bucket. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Alvarado outside. Three, three, three. Williamson with a screen on Paul. Alvarado. No good on the three. The Warriors shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Pass to Pajimski. Looney, a screen on Jones. Back to Paul. Jacks up a three. And the Warriors with another three. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. The Pelicans have gone six for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Time, out, time, time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. With the perimeter D struggling to stay connected to him, they're getting bombarded. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Well, he's getting in a groove at the perfect time, just as they're getting ready to do battle in the postseason. Outside Jones. Pass to Valanchunas. McCullum with it. He's covered by Curry. And the Pelicans miss again. Here's Golden State. They're on a 12-3 run. There's the triple. Pelicans cleared away. And here's McCollum. Here's Williamson. That's good. And it's McCollum with the assist. McCollum's got five assists in the game. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Curry from deep three-point land. Alan Chunas with a rebound. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. McCollum finds Williamson. Williamson is double. Jones from outside. Sinks it from distance. Some of Jones's minutes are dictated by how well he shoots the three ball. Pass to Jackson Davis. Now Wiggins. Curry with it. Fires for three. Williams grabs the board. Williamson's got four rebounds in the game. Jones against Thompson. Allen Chunas with a screen on Thompson. Shot clock at six. Back to Jones. Three-pointer. And another three for New Orleans. Credit the hard work coming back. They're doing their best to steal this game. They've done a great job, but they're not done yet. Wiggins outside. Jackson Davis. Great positioning on the putback. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Pass to Williamson. Oh, it's 
blocked by Green. Now here's Curry. Valanciunas covering. Wiggins from long range. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got three assists now in this one. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. McCullum with it, now guarded by Curry. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. shooting 44% here in the fourth quarter. Oh, Curry from way out there. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Here's McCollum. That one rolls around and rims out. But Grant, it's obvious who's been in control of this game. You know, you really have to appreciate their relentlessness. Outside Curry. They set the screen. Pass to Jackson Davis. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That free throw, no good. Sinks the second. New Orleans has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Out to McCullum. The three. Hits a three-pointer. McCullum's got 44. Beautiful pass by Jones, keeping his head on a swivel and creating the wide-open look. Curry against McCullum. There's the three. Curry's shot is off. And it's Valanchunas with the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. Down by 12. So skilled at drawing contact. I like when C.J. McCullum plays with the pressure. left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside Curry. The die for the ball. McCollum with a steal. Thompson against Jones. Back to Valanchunas. From behind the arc. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Jackson Davis has got 11 rebounds in the game. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Warriors. They ran the fast break beautifully all night long. It was a huge part of their success. It's so true. They clearly ran the floor well, constantly putting pressure on the defense. Just a tremendous effort. 
And with another win in the bag, they've racked up 46 total on the year. They were well prepared coming in and showed a real competitive streak. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Stephen Curry. I have to say, he was totally unleashed tonight, flying up and down the court, helping out however he could. He made a big impact on both ends. Well, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. He got prime position under the rim and cleaned it up. Nice finish by J.D. 19 seconds left in the final quarter. Now Thompson. And so the Warriors take the win. A clean win. And one where they clearly show better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And, Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Grand Hill, Steve Smith and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. Now our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.